Markers, Ray Brunton in blue, 28, Pat Boward in yellow, 30, David Hanlon green in 30, John Gibney in the pink jacket, 34, Ernest Kemplay in black of 36, Les White in brown, 36, Peter Gould purple in 46, and Bruce Coe for the outmarker in the grey jacket, 50 metres, and they're in the starter's hands. Mr Sid Jackson about to release the field. Round nine of the world-famous Dandy Dollar Dash, the final to be run on grand final day. Off they go, and Coford leads the way early in the piece. He's in advance of Peter Girl second. Then the black is Ernest Kemplay third. He was followed further back in the field then by Les White, who's going around them next as they go down the back, and Bruce Coford has a nice lead. In second place was Peter Gould, and they've come away about four metres to Ernest Kemplay. Then the runner in pink making up good ground is John Gibney coming into the picture, and further back is Les White, and there's a break then to Ray Brunton, followed by Howard Stair in white, and Graham Borch as they come around the turn, where it's Bruce Coford headed now by Ernest Kemplay, who's running strong. He races away about two metres clear. Second is Peter Gill coming home well on the outside. Then Bruce Coburn and flying as Graham Borch is down the outside. Ernest Kemplay in front. Graham Borch is in the red coming at them very fast down the outside. Ernest Kemplay. Graham Borch is Ernest Kemplay is just in front going through his set out. And Ernest Kemplay has won it from Borch's. And third placing would go to John Gidney. Good run. Ernest Kemplay. Looking to have just lasted to see it out from Gay Graham Borchers and John Gibney, and we wait for the result. The black is first, Ernest Kemplay off 36 metres. Graham Borchers second in red, and third was John Gibney in the time. 47.76, 47.76, a very good run and a strong run by Ernest Kemplay. Was tackled right, left and centre, but has seen it out to win. Here he now chats with Rob Asprey. <laughs> Having a look at the replay now, Ernie, um, uh, that was a very, very tight finish also. I was pushing it hard to stay there. Any doubt about it? Oh, there's always doubt about it once you hit the lead early. Well, you'll be, uh, very, you'll be very happy. How was the uh, time, Kevin? It's an improvement on last week, 47.76, and uh, with the track the way it is, it's on, you're on the sand belt down here. Whilst it's dry and firm, you don't get anything out of the tracks in the winter, and that's, uh, that's a good performance again. As we saw, it was a very, very good performance. All right, well, uh, Bing Hanrahan, you've got the presentation of the $85 by Ernest Kemplay, and the result of the ninth round of the Dandy Dollar Dash, we find the winner, Ernest Kemplay, running off 36 metres and uh, defeating Graham Borchers from 24. Third place getter John Gibney from 34 and fourth was Pat Bowd from 30 metres in the time of 47.76. 47.76 and we'll be back next week with round 10 of the Dandy Dollar Dash. We cross now back to Phil Gibbs at the commentary position. And the runners, Jeff Lewis is in red from 28. Pat Bowd in white from 30. Wes Barrett in blue, 32. Ernie Kemplay in yellow, 32. Ian McRae in green, 44. Bob Poole in pink, 44. Ricky Spargo in black, 44. Peter Gould, brown, 46. Ramsey Jack in purple, 46. And Doug Armstrong in the grey jacket from 50. And they're in the starter's hands, round 11 of the Nandy Dollar Dash. Let's have a look at them. And away they go, and Armstrong and McGray first out. Away quickly is Jack in the uh, purple, and uh, he was followed a bit further back then by Peter Gould running in the brown jacket and going up in the black. There you'll notice is Ricky Sparger as they go down the back in the pace of Cracker. And uh, the leader here is Armstrong. He's about to be tackled by Jack, who's moving up on his outside. In the third place then is Spargo as they come round the top turn, and Bob Poole in the pink is coming after them quickly, followed by McRae. And further back to Barrett in blue, and then Bowd in white. As they come round the top turn, they're bunching right up now, and Pat Bowd in the white, look at him go. Pat Bowd is moving up on the outside, being pursued by Bob Poole and coming home well as Ernie can play. Bowd leads them into the straight. Poole is challenging very strongly. Bowd and Poole and they're going down to the line, locked together. Poole on the outside and Bowd and Bob Poole is going to win it. Bob Poole has won it from Bowd. Third home in the brown would be Peter Gould ahead of a packed field which included Barrett and also up there Lewis and Spargo and behind them would be Armstrong and Kemplay and also McRae. Great finish again. Bob Poole, who was the fastest heat winner, getting up to beat Pat Bowd in a great finish to the 11th round of the Nandy Dollar Dash. You'll find Bob Poole running in the pink jacket of 44 metres is the winner, and we'll have placing shortly in the interim. Bob chats with Rob Astrid. Yes, John, as you mentioned, um, 
your time for the uh, for the for the heat was the fastest. And uh, how was that time, Kevin? Then 47.49. He's improved uh, around about four metres on his heat run. That's a terrific run, isn't it? A big improvement. Yes. Yes. We might have to have you swab. What do you think about that, Bob? Oh no, I got out a bit late getting into the straight, but I was able to finish strong enough and uh, and take it out. I've been close for a while now. And, Finally broken through. Yes, well, uh, you, you had uh, quite a distance there on Pat Bowd, who was second, so you'd be very pleased with that run, I would suggest. I'm very pleased in the way I come home. It's been me failing lately, and uh, Has it? I've been able to do it this time, and I'm very thrilled with it. Well, congratulations. Well, now, here's the uh, the presentation by Bing Hanrahan of the Sash. Sash, not trash. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rob. Congratulations, Bob, and uh, great effort. And I'm sure with a run of that determination, grand final day might be $8,000 plus the Datsun Stanza as your uh, winning prize. Congratulations yes. again. Yes, the yeah. Datsun Stanza and that uh, that cash would be very, very nice to get, Bob, wouldn't it? My word, it would. We can only hope and try our best. That's all we can do. And I uh, hope to be there in the final. With the good wishes of D Dandy Dollar Saving. Thanks, Certainly Bob. doing a great job. Well, well like thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, Bob? I'd just like to thank Dandy Dollar, the uh, VFA and Channel 10 and all the other competitors for making this such a wonderful sport that it is. Good on you, Bob. Very nice. Nicely put. Thank you to you and also to uh, uh, Bing Hanrahan and Kevin O'Neill. Here again is John. Thank you very much, Rob. Now, here's the field in today's 14th round of the Dandy Dollar Dash. We have a former stall gift winner on the back mark, Alan Pollock in red from 16 metres, Graham Borchers in white 24, John Keeley's in blue from 28, Paul Mullen in yellow from 30, Rod Cameron in green from 36, Joe Brown in pink from 40, Kevin Dowie in black 42. Daryl Henderson in the brown jacket, 42. Neville Walker in purple from 44. And Peter Gould, the outmarker, in the grey jacket from 48 in today's round of the Dandy Dollar Dash. And they're in the starter's hands. Mr Sid Jackson about to send them on their way. Good field in today's final. Of the Dandy Dollar, outmarker Peter Gould getting set. And away they go, and Gould leads the way early from Walker, followed by Henderson, and then Dowie. And a further back is Brown, Cameron just in behind them, followed by Mullen in the yellow. And making ground is Graham Borchers around the outside in white. He's followed by John Keeley next to last, and Ellen Pollock in the red is last of all. Down the back, and they're going very hard in the lead now. Neville Walker is just in advance here of Peter Gould. There's not much between the pair of them. Joe Brown is third, and he was followed a bit further back then by Daryl Henderson, followed by Kevin Dowie. And a further back to Rod Cameron as they come around the top turn. Peter Gould again takes the lead now in second place running on Walker followed by Brown and further back in the field starting to come home well as Rod Cameron then came Dowie followed by Graham Borchers as they straighten up Gould is still in front of Brown who's trying hard to get to him Gould is still in front of Brown coming after him but Gould is going to see it out and lead almost all the way and Peter Gould takes it out Joe Brown second followed third by Rod Cameron Kevin Dowie then Graham Borchers Neville Walker Ellen Pollock well back with Paul Mullen and the next home was John Keeley and one of the last to finish in the event Darrell Henderson the winner of the event, the 14th round of the Dandy Dollar Dash, Peter Gould of 48, second place getter, Joe Brown, running of 40, third in the green was Rod Cameron from 36 and fourth in the black jacket, Kevin Dowie from 42, just awaiting the time, 47.5, the time, 47.5 in the 14th round of the Dandy Dollar, back again to Rob Asprey. We're having a look at the replay now. Uh, congratulations, Peter. That was a very, very good run. Looked really good. Thanks. What were your thoughts? Uh, there was really, there was no doubt about that coming down the straight, was there? Well, they're all good runners. <laughs> I was just hoping nobody would get up there and come yeah. around me. Well, Kevin uh, O'Neill, what did you think of the run? I thought it was a very good run. Uh, Peter uh, got out the front there and made them chase him, and uh, he kept the pace going right through the straight there. They were coming at him, but he wasn't going to give in. Yeah. It was a, a credible what run. What was the time, Kevin? 47.5, which is a lot faster than any of the heat times. Yes, 49.9 was his uh, heat time. Yes, that's okay. yes. so good. The, uh, first win for Peter? First, uh, to my knowledge, it is, Peter. Yeah. First win yeah. in yeah. Yeah. ranks. Yeah. Righto, we'll bring Henry Hand to make the uh, presentation on behalf of our very good friends, Thanks, Dandy Robbie. Dollar Savings. Congratulations, Peter. It was a great yeah. effort, especially being your first win. And I'd like to present you with our Super Savings Correct. Passbook, together with the winner's sash. Yes, and right. I hope you can keep going to uh, get the big one in September. Right, okay. thank you very much for being hand in hand. And uh, you'll be pleased to get that $85 in that sash. <laughs> Terrific, yeah. All right, let's uh, hope that we can see more off you too. Thanks. All right, well, that's just about it. Did you say there was something else, Bob, our director? Oh, the car. You've got the car over there. Bing, tell us about that car. That's We're getting a, a nice Jackson shot of the car. Stanza, Rob, but uh, it's part of the winning prize in September. It's value of $7,450.